Well, it's not just the colour of your roof that is meant to save the planet, but of course solar panels are supposed to save the planet as well. And solar panels are great when the sun is shining, not so great when it's cloudy and terrible when it's hailing, as it did on Sunday in Texas. Hail destroyed a 4,000-acre solar farm with thousands of panels smashed to smithereens. But the problem was not just that the energy was then made useless and the supply dried up. Worse than that, it's believed the solar panels were made from a toxic compound called cadmium telluride, which is highly toxic. The... Uh, Environmental Protection Agency says that it causes kidney, heart, skin and lung issues. So local residents are now concerned that all of that toxicity has leaked into the waterbed from which they get their water supply. Have a listen to a concerned local resident. You were worried about the environmental impact of this before it was ever here. That is correct. I was worried about it. Nick showed us emails, he said, before the solar farms were built. He asked Fort Bend County Commissioners, the Fort Bend Economic Development Council, and the owner of Fighting Jay's Solar Farm for the environmental impact study. We asked for the same studies and we were treated the same way. We got nothing out of them. My concern is with the hill damage that came through and busted these panels up, we now have have uh, some highly toxic chemicals that could be potentially leaking into our water tables. There's numerous makeup in the chemicals on this thing, and majority of them are cancer-causing. Liz, my takeaway from that story is the hail was just really expressing the same feelings we all have for solar panels. What I can't believe is... How did not one individual in the building of this ginormous solar farm... 4,000 acres. ...foresee this? It's not like Beautiful. hail has never fallen in Texas before. This is an unprecedented once in 5,000 years type event. No, it hails in Texas. So you had to know that there was plausibly this was going to happen. No, no planning whatsoever. No, we just need solar quick and fast because, you know, green power. Great. Now you've just poisoned how many people? We don't know yet, but they have valid concerns. And I hate to say it, but you think the ones that we don't have here aren't toxic as well? And should we have a hailstorm? They've got the same ingredients in them. We're all getting them from the exact same place, China. And so it's, it's something that people should be concerned about across the board. But the lack of planning involved in something like that yeah. is just ridiculous. Apparently, Caleb, Al Gore and John Kerry have uh, volunteered to clean up the mess. Mm, I'm sure they have. I just love <laughs> that we have an example here now where, you know, every time we have some sort of major power outage in this country because of extreme weather, they say, well, it was the fault of the, the coal-fired power stations because they short-circuited or whatever the hell it, it is at that point in time. And now we can finally say there is a, a real-life, absolutely irrefutable example of the power going out because of renewable energy, because they broke the whole bloody thing. I mean, you can't exactly go in and fix that overnight. But I've got to say, though, with this edict in Victoria that you're going to have a, a white roof, mm. it might be the best argument to cover your roof in solar panels because you'll actually be able to have a dark roof, roof. without <laughs> having a dark roof. Now, sure, it might look like a heap of crap once the <laughs> hail comes in and destroys it, but, you know, I just love this kind of thing, proving once and for all that the pipe dream we are going down, the green dream is, in fact... A green dream because you know anyone who works with animals knows that the green dream puts the animal to sleep and that's essentially what they'll be doing to us if we follow this to its logical conclusion and how about this over in toronto in canada you know you thought it couldn't get any worse you're being taxed for this you're being taxed for that don't go to toronto because they're going to tax you when it rains. I'm not joking. They're considering implementing a rain tax whereby they would assess how much flat uh, concrete sort of space you had on your property, you know, non-porous space. So if you've got grass, you're OK. But if you've got masses of concrete or paving, etc., which the water can't pass through, the Mayor of Toronto argues that that water then has to flow into the sewerage system and it overflows the sewerage system, so you must pay for the terrible damage you have wrought upon the environment by laying down tiles and concrete and whatever 
whatever else. How are they going to assess this? Like, they're literally saying, I don't know, so it rained uh, 50 mil yesterday and um, you've got five square metres of concrete on your property, therefore you're going to have to pay for the runoff. But what if I've jigged it so that all the water runs into a certain part of my property and then drains into a rainwater <laughs> tank so I can drink it? Does that mean that I then avoid having to pay the tax? Like, well, apparently in Toronto, if you collect rainwater, you pay a fee for that. You're if you allow it to drain into the sewage system, you're now taxed on that. Wait, wait, so, so you've got to... You have to pay in Toronto... I read this today, ..the yes. water that falls if out of the sky it, and fee. goes into your own water charged. tank. So it used to be a good day when it rained. Now, when the heavens open up, your wallet opens up as well and you pay <laughs> through the nose. That is upset. You the, know, the council have to fly drones over people's homes to, to measure your roofing space, oh, your driveway, any other hard surfaces. That is... Yeah, and when we're itself. talking about hard surfaces, that's what the proposal's talking about. Who doesn't have a roof? Who doesn't have a driveway? It's like, no... Tax because the water can't seep into the ground. The other part of this story, for crap. this isn't new. This was first proposed by the same council back in 2017. So this idea has been floating around oh, they're coming back. for seven oh, years. They've so, circled uh, back. Yeah. They oh, have circled. You know, you know, by the way, the, you mentioned the, um, the fact that you've got to pay to collect the rainwater in mm. Toronto. Oh, going back, what, 10, 15 years now, there were Australian states looking at doing the same to farmers in terms of dams. Like, they were looking at surreptitious ways to tax farmers for collecting water in dams that had fallen out of the sky. Right. If you cannot collect the water that falls out of the sky onto your property without the government making you pay for it, uh, we live... It's, it's a taxable it's, offence. It's absolute tyranny. It's a taxable offence.